All right, guys, so as you can guess it, this is going to be something a little different. So, if I don't eat these before I get them into here for my mold, I am going to be making a silicone mold using the silicone rubber mold making kit from Let's Resin. We'll put that link in the description below. Uh, so these are these are pretty soft and mushy, so I couldn't put them into resin like they are. I'm not gonna eat them. So I am gonna hot glue them into here. That's gonna take me some time, so of course I'll time lapse that. And then we'll get the resin or the not the resin. <laughs> we'll get the silicone mixed up, get it poured on here after we put some mold release on it, just to make sure. I know nothing sticks to silicone. But, just to be on the safe side, we'll do that. So, let's get started with that. Of course, I'm going to time lapse most of that. So, the object here is to, a little bit of hot glue on this right here. And, um, stick them in here. The best of my ability, like that. <laughs> and as you can see, this is going to take me a minute. think so Alright, so, part A and part B, I mix them one to one, non-toxic, no order, and bubble free. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I think I need to put in there. Uh, I'm going to start with probably half of this one and half of that one. Alright guys, so approximately four ounces of part A. Another four ounces of part B. Somewhere right there. I don't think that's going to be enough, but I don't want to waste too much of it. So. Before I get too far, we're going to hit it with a mold release so I can get the candies out, anyways. Yep, kind of looks like I'm going to use all of it. So, let me get that mixed up, and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, I don't know if I can get them out of there. They're kind of mushy. I don't know, they're not bad. I don't know what's gooey there's like a apparently it got hot at some point <laughs> but i think we can get them out of there i hope we can get them out of there hell yeah they come right out look at that there we go ha ah! all right so let me get these all out of here and we'll get going on this I think it's mold release on my hands. So anyways, I'm going to get some of this cleaned out in here and something like this. Yeah, let's get some resin mixed up and get that poured in there. 
<laughs> all right guys so we're gonna have to do this in stages so I got a little bit here I don't want the colors to blend so I have to do it in stages so we're gonna use some um, oops I'm focused down here hang on not that you guys can see so the pigment dispersion from total boat white and you know candy corns are, are three colors I'm gonna have to guesstimate how much to put in them but I got a toothpick because I just only need a some in there I guess so <laughs> I don't want to put a whole lot in because this stuff works pretty well let's see how that looks there we go all right so get that mixed up I'm gonna show you pouring a couple of them And this is just two to one slow set resin from Totally Boat. It takes, I don't know, 40 minutes for it to, to set up. I guess it depends on how much you put in there, but we should be okay with that. So, anyways, I'm quite sure how to go about doing this. What can you guys see over there? So anyways, I guess we're going to, uh, you know, let's try it this way and see what happens here. I don't know how much to put in them. That's probably going to be good, I think. That's an absolute nightmare, so I'm switching over to a pipette. See what we can do with this. Maybe if it fills up with resin. <laughs> that was way too much. All right, we'll come back to the next color. That was way easier. <laughs> Well, all right, guys. <laughs> Let's see how this turned out, huh? 
so. I mean, you know, that looks like a candy corn. It sure does. Look at that. <laughs> now that's a fake one. I got a real one somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Let me find one. Yeah, well, I mean, it's close. It's real close. <laughs> that was my plan, right? So these are nice and hard, as where these are not. All right, well, that's kind of cool. That's what I was looking for. Look at that. And that, all right. That came out way easier than the candy did. Ha. All right, well, I'll be right back. Let me get all these out of here. Oops. Might want to clean that one up a little bit. <laughs> I don't think it really matters for what I want to use them for. Coming out of there really nice. I do have to pour a whole bunch more though. And it took, took about three hours to pour these and then I left it overnight. You figure because of the volume, they don't really go off. About 40 minutes, they were still sticky and gooey. But of course, you can see that the colors did not blend, which is a good thing. I was a little worried they were gonna, but they did not. So everything's everything's really good. I like it. It was kind of a tedious process, but I think it was worth it. <laughs> you know, and that's what I was looking for. So hopefully this mold holds up for me. I guess we'll see, won't we? Seems to be okay right now, but that was only one batch. All right, let me get the rest of these out, and we'll see where we're at. So, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> uh, that's all I was doing for this video, uh, making a mold for candy corns. And pretty much how I did it. So, we use the, oh, you can't really see it there, can you? So, we use the silicone rubber from Let's Resin. Uh, the will have links for discount codes to the website and all that in the description below. Uh, I just used a bucket or some kind of container lid. I just kind of cut it smaller. I wish I had a little bit more of this, but we've used it on some other things that we've made. So I was kind of pushing my luck with how I did it. But I don't exactly know how many I have here. This fake one don't be. Uh... <laughs> Where's the other half of that? What you guys do with it, huh? 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 There it is. But yeah. So how do we do this, eh? Do it like that. Can you see it like that? There you go. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.